After a busy week, it's a sleepy Saturday morning at Pole Clinic when an emergency call comes in. Pole, that this is friend of mine. Karen Snyder called today with Tia, a Yorkie female that's pregnant and due to have her puppies anytime. I called a couple of the other office staff people in to give me a hand. For the dog in distress, it's all hands on deck. I was actually on my way to town with my family. Got a phone call from Brenda that she'd like some extra help. So here I am. And this is Tia, right? Tia, yeah. She had one in the car. Tia had had one puppy en route from their home to the clinic. We're going to check Tia to see if there's more pups that need to be delivered or what's happening with her today. First door on the left. I got a baby in a car I got to go get, OK? OK. I was on my way to a Tigers game, and I had to cancel it. So we're delivering puppies, and hopefully everything goes well. OK, we're going to do a vaginal exam just to see how things are going. OK, there's a puppy set coming, but it's a ways away yet. OK, I would like to run down and take an x-ray. Let's see how many puppies we're dealing with. Just two. She's got two pups left inside. And there's trouble. Yep. This one's kind of turned. This one's kind of turned. This one could be a problem. Done. I don't know if the puppies are going to be alive or not. I'm very concerned about that puppy's placement. Tia's tiny frame also poses a big problem. They're a good size. She's just too small to have the puppies on her own. It's time to go for a C-section. I'm very concerned about Tia because she's had a couple C-sections before this. Today will be Tia's third. So Dr. Brenda must work carefully around her scarring to avoid complications. Mm. I'm concerned about the bleeding that looks like it's occurred with the uterus. But my primary concern to start with is get the puppies out and then decide whether we're going to spay Tia or not spay her. OK, rub vigorous. The first step is to get the puppies clean and dry and check for heartbeats, get their airways open so they can breathe. I don't hear anybody squeaking yet. I'm not hearing any squeaking, and I'm really concerned about what's happening. Are the puppies breathing? Are they turning pink like they're supposed to? Are they responding to our care trying to get them awake? They're breathing good. They're getting pink. That's awesome. Once the puppies start making noises, then I can listen and monitor them as I'm working on mom. My recommendation for Karen would be, if we breed Tia again, that most likely she's going to end up having a C-section again. And at that point, I would spare. Why don't we go up front and talk to Karen? All right, Karen, I brought everybody to you. You have two little boys. Two more boys. Yep, okay. that we got from surgery. And Tia's starting to pick her head up and move around a little bit. OK. So um, when the ladies are ready to relinquish the puppies, they're okay. ready to go home. I missed the Tigers game, but three live puppies are better than a Tigers game. A baby like you. Dr. Brender does a good job. Very happy. I'm sure Karen's pretty excited that she got um, live puppies. There'll be another Tigers game. Thank you very okay. much. You're welcome. I really appreciate it. Certain owners, like Karen, just have a sixth sense when their pet is in trouble. 